Hello and welcome back to our Enhanced Input Actions tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the Corded Action Trigger. This is when we combine two keys together to get a different outcome. So we're going to talk about the problem, how this solves it, and then talk about how we can use it for different types of mechanics in the game. So let's jump in. So on the Enhanced Input Action System, one of the trigger modifiers you put in there is for Corded actions what called actions are is when you want to hold down a button or push a button whilst pushing another button to activate its trigger so a common example you see for this is for gamepad based games when you have like um hold down the left trigger to activate your spell menu and you push a jump button to actually uh, set off a spell rather than jump so let's go through and show you how to set a corded action up and in particular that example so I want to go ahead and create, first of all, the ability button itself. So we go to inputs and we're going to create a new asset for my input action. IA ability one. And that will be just our ability that we assign, for example, on the A button on our controller. So I'm going to go into my context now and add it to my context here do IA ability one and we'll set that to the gamepad a button so which is the face button bottom now when I hit save and close that this has a problem when I put this into the player character because that's now going to trigger both of them so if I go into the player character and put in our IA action uh, ability sorry ability one and we'll just do a print string for this print string and we'll do fireball spell okay and hit compile save and close that so we've got a conflict here we've got both the fireball spell and our jump button assigned to the same button so what happens when we push the a button now it does both it does the jump and the fireball spell at the same time now we don't want it to happen. We want it to be corded. So when I hold down another button, I want it to only do the fireball spell. So let's take a look at how that happens. So for this, we need to have a, another input action. We go to input action and we'll create another one. And we'll do input action here. IA spell activate. And go back to our context. And I'm going to add this mapping for the spell activate. On here, we go to spell activate. And I'm going to set that to my left trigger. So when I pull the left trigger, it's going to activate, well, in theory, activate my abilities. So the way you do that is you go up to ability and go to triggers, add a new trigger. And on index zero trigger, we're going to add on there a corded action. And once you've done that, you can expand it open again to access its settings. And in there, you're going to see, ask for which chord action do you want to attach to this. And from the drop down, you have all your input actions yet again assigned to this. So we're going to go down to spell activate, click on that, and that's it. So this ability, one, will not fire unless we hold down and lift trigger at the same time. So let's take a look at that in action and see how that changes things. So if I just push A on its own, we jump. If I hold down left trigger and push A, we jump and get the fireball spell. So we're halfway there. We've got the jump working as, as intended, but the fireball spell is still also triggering that jump. Why is that the case? Well, if you go back to our mapping context, what you have in this list actually matters the order. So the order that you put these in matters a lot to how they activate and consume. So, for example, if I go into IA Ability 1 and open this up, I'm going to give this one a um, special consumption on its, uh, on its um, asset itself. So if I go into the asset, so if I just open up the asset folder and open up the asset, you can see here we've got input consumption and by default it's set to consume lower priority enhanced input mappings lower priority ones 
So how do you set up the live priority ones? Well, we go back to our context and we're going to drag our input ability one higher than our jump. And when we've done that, what they're saying is that ability one and jump now share a priority. Now we want to make sure jump is a lower priority than ability one. You don't want it to consume that. So we need to drag jump one down and it will make it, if we put it right at the bottom, it will make it a much lower priority than ability one. So now when I go into the game and push play, if I push the A button on its own, we jump. If I hold down the left trigger and push A, we don't jump, but we still get the fireball spell. Okay, and as we know from previous videos, we could easily just put this widget for the spell activation on a widget, uh, uh, on a widget, this action on a widget, and you can make it now display a menu on the screen when we do hold on the left trigger to indicate to the player that they now cast spells. But yeah, that's corded actions for you. And you think about it, you can do this with all sorts of interesting setups. So let's say you want to do a crouch jump, for example, you have crouch and you have jump, you can make a crouch jump action that is corded action, which makes it a little bit easier to accomplish so think about cool actions how they can implement into your game and how they can be super uh, super useful in putting together interesting abilities for your character especially when you've got limited controller setup such as a controller or gamepad and there you have it we can now do a really interesting spell activity uh but we can also do other things too maybe you want to do a crouch jump maybe you want to do a special attack with the hold down the button anything like that can be easily uh, made using the corded action rather than some complicated blueprint mess. So give it a shot, try it out. It'd be interesting to see what you think of it. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to watch the next part where we go over combo buttons, you can watch that right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady, as well as all my other videos early before everyone else. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.